Hey, what's up? It's Bon. Let's talk about Mass Effect and Dragon Age, but really Bioware more than anything. Uh, today we have a kind of a solemn update um, that is probably not the end of the world, but is definitely unfortunate. So let's jump into it. Uh, today we got an announcement on Twitter about a new Bioware blog. Uh, long story short, they're laying off 50 employees. So to get more into it, um, this is mostly unfortunate because 50 people are losing their job. That's awful. Um, that that sucks, basically. Um, I think there's some reasoning behind it. It's explained in this a little bit. Um, I suspect that there's also uh, I, I can have some input on, on probably what's going on, at least partially, uh, but we'll get into it. Um, what's also a bummer about it is that uh, I've been talking for a while about how, you know, I, I've been anticipating a blog eventually. Um, and then when I read the first uh, line of this blog where he says, uh, today, this is uh, Gary McKay, the uh, the head of Bioware. I says, today, rather than discuss one of our upcoming projects, I'd like to update, uh, I'd like to share an update about the studio itself and outline our vision for Bioware's future. And then he goes on to explain that um, they are, you know, it's a rapidly evolving industry, basically all the corpo jargon uh, that, you know, eventually leads to him uh, talking about how they're laying off 50 roles. Now, I don't know exactly how big Bioware is. I, I don't know if anyone really does. I, I imagine there are a few hundred strong between, I think, two studios. Um, the, the only spin I can give on this that is like kind of positive i think is that um I, I imagine that dragon age dreadwolf has to be getting close to being done and i would say there's a decent chance a lot of these roles are roles that would have likely been cut anyways and and it's even implied a little bit um in in here um uh, down here it says uh, we've chosen to act now in part to provide our impacted colleagues with as much internal opportunities as possible. Um, it says that uh, these changes coincide with significant number of roles that are currently open across EA's other studios. Impacted employees will be provided with all of the things they need. Um, so my guess is that at least a, a portion of these are, you know, Dreadwolf devs that weren't going to be moving on to Mass Effect and uh that you know not because they didn't want to necessarily but because ea wasn't going to allow bioware the budget to keep the number of devs they have um you you have to keep in mind that after dreadwolf comes out uh that i'd say there's a decent chance uh they're going to be cutting bioware down to probably work on one project at a time and that's probably going to be mass effect next and then you know whatever they do after that that is kind of weird when you know that studios like respawn uh, I believe are working on like three or four or more games at once. Um, Respawn has also had multiple recent successful games. Um, Bioware is in kind of a spot where, um, you know, they seems like they're still being supported in the big picture, uh, but that maybe there is going to be kind of a time here where they're going to have to prove it before that they can, you know, you know, inflate back up and be a big giant studio again. This is, um, you know, these 50 layoffs are, are separate from the recent uh, cutback of uh, developers that they had by um, pushing off the Star Wars uh, MMO they have uh, and pushing it to an entirely different third party studio. And so this is just another step in what seems like a, from a corporate perspective, a streamlining of Bioware's, uh, you know, uh, money sheet, I guess. Uh, and, but this is a bummer. So. Um, I, I will say if you're worried about Dragon Age or you're worried about the next Mass Effect, um, you know, he does reinforce multiple times in here. Uh, he says here, uh, this vision balances the current needs of the studio, namely ensuring Dragon Age Dreadwolf is an outstanding game with its future, uh, including the success of the next Mass Effect. So um, it doesn't seem like there's any immediate damage um, to the, the projects they're working on, but uh, you know, losing 50 devs is probably never a good thing. I have to imagine. Um, and this immediate impact section says, uh, if you're wondering how all of this may impact the development of Dragon Age Dreadwolf, let me be clear that our dedication to the game has never wavered. Our commitment remains steadfast and we are all working to make this game worthy of the Dragon Age name. We are confident we'll have 
the time needed to ensure Dreadwolf reaches its full potential. Um, it's uh, it, actually this next line here. I can also tell you that every member of our team, even those departing Bioware, deserves credit for the crafting of a spectacular experience. These are our colleagues and friends. We would not be here without them. I'm so proud of all the work our team has done. Again, this, that vaguely in my opinion kind of reinforces my idea that these are probably mostly dragon age devs that they're putting now rather than later um, but that doesn't make it any less painful uh, then the last thing here i'll read is um while this is an extremely difficult day for everyone at bioware we are making changes now to build a brighter future we're excited for all of you to see what uh, we've been building with dreadwolf and then you know for the mass effect fans here a core veteran team led by mike gamble continues their pre-production work on the next mass effect uh, our commitment to quality continues to be our north star and then signs off with gary mckay um so you know i suspect the morale is not going to be great there for a, a little while especially seeing people leaving uh you know against their will um but you know hopefully you know this this also isn't unheard of in the industry so um i i really wish this was like an exciting fun update unfortunately it's not um i i don't think it's the end of the world and unfortunately all of the bioware doomers and stuff are going to uh, paint this as a really bad thing um, I suspect that this was just a thing from EA saying, okay, you need to cut payroll this much. Uh, and that's that conversation. I suspect that those conversations aren't very two sided. And uh, that's just kind of how the corporate world works. And we're seeing and, 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 and noticing more often that's definitely how it works in the gaming world, unfortunately. So, uh, thoughts to the 50 people losing their jobs. This is awful. I hope they find. Um, great new opportunities. I'm sure many of them will, and hopefully all of them. Uh, you know, maybe they're trying to sweep this information out before in seven day here in a few months, and uh, before the, I assume they're going to start their marketing push for Dreadwolf. Uh, that that has to be happening sooner than later. Uh, the indications are still that that game's probably coming out uh, early mid 2024. Uh, the next Mass Effect, if it's still in pre-production as of today, still. Uh, and it's almost certainly going to stay that way if they if they're cutting 50 jobs. Um, I mean, that game's looking, you know, four or five years away, probably. So if you like updates on Bioware, Mass Effect and uh, Dragon Age, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any of your own thoughts or you just want to say hello, hit up the comments down below. You can find me all over the Internet as Bond Diesel, including over on Twitter on instagram threads you can uh, get me over on twitch where i do stream a few times a week and uh, i have a weekly gaming podcast uh with gaming news called the bonfire uh, it's on all streaming uh podcast platforms as well as this youtube channel that's all i have for this one so until next time